not far from Manchester city centre. We are actually not far from Salford. There's a river here, um, which is just down the road from Salford, about five minutes away. I'm also on my uh, Sonder today. Um, it's a great bike, just so you know. I love cycling, I want to get really into it, hence why I'm starting this vlog, so that I can showcase uh, my experiences and also uh, my progression in uh, my cycling adventures. So stay tuned. So we're somewhere near Watergate Park apparently and um, Emma's just taking us, taking the lead uh, as you can see. I'm not sure where we're going but that's all part of the adventure of being out on a gravel bike. Go well, that way, Clifton Park. So apparently we're going to uh, Clifton Water Park, I think it is, or County Park. Um, we're just getting lost, which is fine because that's part of the adventure. We've always got um, sat nav if we need it. Well, I'm just saying that we're getting lost, which is okay. Because if you're getting lost, we're having a bit of an adventure, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to Clifton County Park. Um, we'll get there eventually. And we're going to do a bit of a hiker bike to get onto the main road because me and Emma want to go for a coffee. And uh, we're just getting lost in this place now. And um, we'd end up in Bolton at this point. So we're just going to uh, get onto the main road. Find a coffee shop, have some nice coffee. Bit more gravel first before we get onto the main road. Bit of water here. One handed, careful. Oh shit. There we go. All is good in the hood. You alright? <laughs> she doesn't like water. She's like a cat. Okay, so got a little bit of an ascent here on this road. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't think she's very happy I've took her this way. Maybe you should get some blood guards on there. <laughs> so we completely failed in finding a coffee shop near where we were. So we've decided to come back towards Salford area. And we're gonna go Salford Keys instead. And we're gonna get a nice coffee uh, in Salford Keys. I think this one's gonna be happy about that. You were right. on the side of him. Just kill me, that's fine. Mm. It's not enough uh, awareness on the roads at the moment for these taxi drivers and people on the road in general. It's terrible. Oh, come on. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, so we've got Salford Keys now. It's been a nice cycle. We've been out for a couple of hours just messing about. Uh, we're just going to go and get ourselves a nice coffee. Cappuccino, please. How are you feeling, all right? Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, I'll get some food. She's hungry.
Okay, so we're here with coffee. That's nice. How are you feeling? Tired. We're in Salford Keys. We've never been here. It's quite a nice part of uh, Manchester. Isn't it, babe? You live just up the road from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, get up again. <laughs> Mm. So you're enjoying the, uh, <laughs> the sandwich, are you? Yeah. Emma's bike is there, and it's the uh, Specialised Cirrus X. We just went into a Specialised shop and bought the, the bike with standard tyres on it. But we wanted something that could do a bit of gravel biking as well. Well, the bike was on sale as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, on, it was on sale as well. So all we did is we just asked the nice guys that specialise to put some uh, gravel tyres on and they put some the Rhombus Pro Rhombus Pro and uh, she's got tubes in there so it's not tubeless but she's not had one puncture yet no and she's been on plenty of gravel rides too many I've been using the Sonda uh, Camino Alp as you can see in blue with that the Brooks um, I don't know what it's called, I think it's the Brooks Empire or something. That's doing quite well. Uh, but these are a 700 by uh, 42 Resolute by WTV. And these are actually really, really good. I would say they're, they're much better when you're on the road. Um, sometimes when you're, if you're rubbing tubeless and you're on the gravel, you could potentially get punctures. Um, I got a big puncture in it and it was only about half a centimetre or five millimetres and I couldn't plug it, it kept popping out. So um, I decided to put a tube in instead and since I put a tube in I've not had any punctures. Um, saying that, if I do buy some Studia um, tyres I think I definitely will look at going tubeless again. But this bike is fantastic, I got it in February. Uh, February this year. This year? Yeah. And um, go from Alp Kit on their website. You can order them. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. If you've heard of them, you'll know. But if you've not heard of them and you're looking for an affordable gravel bike, then the Sonda Camino Al is is definitely up there. And really, really good. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I just want a better road bike now, don't I? Yeah. So Emma was just talking about uh, gangs, bike gangs. Not um, not not ruffians. Not. You know, just being a part of a group. There's loads of like youth, mainly lads, the young lads with their hoods up and it's so tight that you can only see a slight bit of their face. Yeah, that's, you don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> I feel like I do. <laughs> I feel like I really fit in. Yeah, I'm sure you would. But um, going off that, I think cycling groups or uh, cycling gangs, as Emma calls it might be something really good to be part of. Um, personally, I'd like to be part of a group. Um, if I ever move up to Manchester, because I'm currently in Chester at the moment, I'd like to get involved in a cycling group, I think, around here. Would you be up for a cycling group for women, maybe? I want to be part of the lads' youthful hoodie group. <laughs> OK, we'll sort you out with that, then. Um, but personally, I think getting involved in a group and going out on outings is really good motivation to get you cycling, uh, to, to get you exercising, um, just maintaining your fitness levels, really. I would say, overall, you, for about a year now, I've been cycling and Emma's getting fitter and better at it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm loving it. I just want to keep doing more and more. But if people start... Um, start commenting on my videos and I can start an online community that might motivate me more to get involved more so feel free to just drop any comments and um, I'll try to answer them about my bike and Emma's bike and our little adventures but maybe they, you could advise or ask him to do a certain you know any really horrible ones ask him to do it make him do it just on my own yeah no I'm not going I want to go home and have a bath me too. <laughs>